The super-intelligent, self-assured and adaptable Belgian Melanoir is a world-class worker who forms an enduring link with his human partner. Strong and well-muscled, but not bulky, they have an honest appearance as befits dogs that work hard for their meals. Their coat hues range from a deep fawn to dark mahogany. The black ears and mask highlight the brilliant, inquisitive eyes that are the colour of dark Belgian chocolate. If you've ever witnessed a Mao do an obedience routine, you already know what a smart and enthusiastic breed this is. Hey there, welcome to another Dog Joy Deep Dive. Today we are going to be diving into one of the most admired dogs on the planet. Stick around till the end of this video and you are surely going to fall in love with this charming canine. History the Belgian Malinois is a shepherd dog breed and one of four related varieties. The Tuverin, the Gronendale and Lycanois are the other three kinds. The Malinois was created in the city of Malines, Belgium in the 1800s. Breeders desired a robust herding dog and protector with a high work ethic. The Malinois made its initial appearance in the United States in the early 1900s. During World War I, several were enlisted as military dogs due to their remarkable abilities. The breed declined in the United States as a result of the Great Depression and import restrictions during World War II. However, they regained prominence in the 1960s. The American Kennel Club was the first to acknowledge the Malinois in 1959. The Belgian Malinois were regularly put to work serving as police dogs, military dogs, drug detection dogs and search and rescue dogs around the start of the 21st century. They are even used by the Secret Service to patrol the White House grounds. Also, Belgian Malinois are members of Navy SEAL teams and have been employed in special operations such as in capturing known terrorists. In certain countries, the Malinois is characterised as a single breed, with the Tuverin, Lacanois and Belgian Gronendale solely known as the Belgian Sheepdog. However, since 1959, the Malinois has been registered as a separate breed in the United States. They highly resemble and are sometimes confused with the German Shepherd, although they have a different head and are taller and thinner boned. Mals have traditionally been regarded as unrivaled livestock herders in their homeland. They were first bred by professional dog people who were primarily concerned with creating dogs of sterling working character and who resisted superficial pet owner fads and preferences. Because of this emphasis on performance, the Mal became the go-to dog for Belgian sheep herders and cattlemen. Puppy Days Malinois puppies are highly active, so they need a lot of exercise and perform best in a home with at least a reasonably sized yard. They enjoy spending time with their families, so if you're at home with them, they're probably happy too. Belgian Malinois are tough dogs with thick double coats who are used to staying outside. They are, however, content to live indoors with you as long as they receive plenty of exercise. These puppies develop a fierce temper as they mature, so early training will be essential. They are very loving toward their family but highly suspicious of outsiders. Size and appearance. The bodies of all four breeds are graceful, square and strong, with a deep chest and a long fluffy tail. The V-shaped head is large, long and flat topped with a long jaw and somewhat pointed nose and ears. These dogs are serious, hardworking and have a strong sense of responsibility, especially while guarding the home. They are fantastic with children, yet distrustful of strangers, but they will not attack without reason. A Gronendale should have brown or black eyes with a long, slightly rough all-black straight coat with some white. The Tuverin has a dense undercoat and a long, fairly rough, straight, dark fawn or reddish mahogany black-tipped outer coat that lies flat over the length of the body. They should also feature a black and brown mask. The Belgian Malinois' short, straight coat ranges from dark fawn to mahogany with black tips and is especially short on the head, ears and lower limbs. They should also have a black mask, black ears and brown eyes. The Belgian Malinois is a large breed weighing 40 to 70 pounds and standing 22 to 26 inches tall at the shoulders. Temperament and characteristics. The male's temperament is loyal, amiable and affectionate. They have a strong working dog history but they prioritise companionship and family time. Since their inception, Melanoirs have been bred to be herding dogs and evolved into remarkable guard dogs capable of defending their master and his property. These characteristics are still present in the Belgian Melanoir temperament today. 
When introduced to or confronted with an unexpected person, they normally would not respond with aggression or anxiety. Instead, this characteristic is frequently evidence of a lack of socialization. They can snap or growl in times of fear or anger. For these reasons, adopting a Belgian Malinois from a reputable breeder that produces dogs with a good temperament is strongly advised. Training and intelligence. The Belgian Melanoir is a very intelligent canine breed with an excellent work ethic. In fact, when it comes to obedience and working IQ, they rank 26th out of 138 breeds. These dogs have become the gold standard for police canine operations due to their high adaptive intelligence and enthusiasm to obey. This breed is very trainable, intelligent and eager to please in general. Positive reinforcement and consistent instruction also work well with them. Training and socialization should ideally start shortly after Mal Pup is born. Enroll your dog in a puppy obedience class as soon as they reach the required age and expose them to a variety of people, other animals and situations. Mal's do not usually get along with other dogs, but a favorable early introduction to other dogs can help a lot. Similarly, this breed is not usually suitable for households with children. Their strong herding instinct may cause it to try and nip at the heels of small children. Even if you don't have children, it's critical to train your dog to be well-mannered around youngsters so that you can always safely control the situation. If you love dogs like we do and want to see more videos about all the amazing dogs in the world, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified about all our future videos. Exercise and Agility a Belgian Melanoir requires lots of daily exercise as well as mental stimulation. Otherwise, it may get worried or exhibit behavioural issues. Aim for one to two hours of activity per day, which can include brisk walks, running, hiking and fetch. This breed is also a fantastic contender for dog sports and any activity that requires focus and endurance to intellectually and physically challenge them. Be mindful that the herding instinct of the Belgian Malinois may cause it to chase automobiles, bikes and other moving things. As a result, it must be kept on a leash or in a safely fenced in area. Shedding and grooming. The Belgian Melanoir has a short, straight coat with a dense undercoat that is weather resistant. In general, nothing more than simple grooming is required. Brush at least once a week to remove stray fur and avoid matting. Shedding often arises in the spring and fall as the weather changes, prompting more frequent brushing. Once a month, check to see if your dog's nails need to be trimmed. Some dogs can go longer between nail trims if they wear down their nails naturally through exercise, such as walking on pavement. It's also good practice to clean their teeth at least once a day. Health and lifespan. The Melanoir is generally known to be healthy. A reputable breeder will test breeding stock for health concerns such as hip and elbow dysplasia and certain eye disorders. As with all breeds, the ears should be checked for symptoms of illness on a regular basis and the teeth should be washed routinely to maintain good health. The male should thrive on high quality dog food, whether purchased commercially or cooked at home, with your veterinarian supervision and consent. Any diet should be age appropriate for the dog. Some dogs are prone to become quite overweight, so keep an eye on your dog's calorie intake and weight level. Treats can be a valuable training aid, but feeding too much can lead to obesity. Learn which human foods are suitable for your dogs and which are not. If you have any concerns regarding your dog's weight or diet, consult your veterinarian. At all times, clean, fresh water should be available. The average lifespan of a Belgian Malinois is about 11 to 14 years. That's more than enough time to have lots of fun with your canine partner. The Belgian Melanoir is a passionate and loyal dog breed that is confident and protective in any scenario. Besides this, they have the ability to develop an unbreakable link with their human family. Melanoir dogs are people-orientated canines that can be relied on to accomplish whatever you ask of them. They have a lot of energy, so it's vital to remember that they always require a job that fits their physical and mental needs. So if you prefer to mentally push your canine partner, working together will be fantastic for both of you. So what's your favorite thing about the Belgian Melanoir? Would you want to own one yourself? We absolutely love it interacting with you in the comments so please let us know your thoughts and stories below. Once again thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.